Cool, I'm here with Ollie Moores from The X Factor. Ollie, the whole X Factor experience must have been absolutely overwhelming. How are you dealing with it all now in the aftermath? Oh, it is mental. It's great. I'm really enjoying it all. I've been um, busy over the last three weeks since the show finished. Lots of gigs. Um, I think I've done something like 20 gigs in 21 days, something like that. So it's been pretty full on, um, but literally enjoying every single moment of it. So um, in Ireland today, obviously, with Vodafone. So I've been doing bits with them today, which is really great. So it's all going really well. So you literally went from being like an office worker to probably being a bit of a sex symbol with those dance, sexy dance moves. Where did you get those moves from? Just from watching the TV. I mean, I've never done any dance competitions or any anything to do with dance. Never been in stage school. Nothing. It was literally from I think years of watching. You know, the likes of Michael Jackson, the Timberlakes, uh, J- James Brown. Um, you know, Elvis Presley. All these kind of people that performed and entertained. Robbie Williams, people like that. You know, I just it kind of all. I just don't know. What, to be honest, I don't know where it came from. I just decided when I first came to the first audition that I was going to perform for the crowd, and you know, I ended up doing like a trademark move, and everyone seems to know it now. You know, I just generally had fun with it, and 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 that was all that happened, and people seem to like it. So you mentioned some big legends there now, like uh, James Brown and mm. Justin Timberlake. Who would you like to be as big as, or what kind of musical route do you see yourself going down in the future? Mine, mine would definitely be Justin Timberlake. He's a huge. He's huge. He's brilliant. He's got the. He's got everything. He can sing. He can yeah. dance. He's just got, gr- and he's a great entertainer. And he's done some great albums. I mean, I just want to be Ollie Murs. I want to yeah. be an established artist. I mean, if I could have the same career that he's had, I'd be more than happy. But uh, I just want to get that record deal first, get a good single out, good album out, and um, hopefully I can get back on the X Factor next year. <laughs> Win it. Uh, we'll, we'll get back on the X Factor next year as an established artist like Jalice yeah. and Alexandra Burke did this year. Amazing, yeah. Go on there and perform, you know, and and sell it you know and be Oli Murs be an established artist I think that's my aim at the moment and what do you think of the whole reality TV format as a vehicle to become successful as a musician do you think that's the way forward or would you rather have maybe made it without the X Factor thing hanging over your head I don't really know I mean at the moment I'm having the time of my life yeah. I mean you know you, I think the reward from going from nothing and, and working the bars and getting there your own way is, is a massive reward I mean but for me I mean I I think this is just as a rewarding, you know, I literally am just a general lad who was working in an office, you know, three or four months ago. And now that I'm, I've come from such a short space of time into the limelight and um, I mean, of course, I mean, the X Factor does that for some people, but I'm not someone that sees themselves as a serious, you know, the people who are like that, they're like bands, yeah. you know, serious people, serious musicians. I'm not a serious musician. Mm-hmm. I just thought, why not go for it? Let's have a little sing song, see what happens, see if I can get as far as I can on the X Factor. Because I believed I had a talent that I could, that I could show off. Um, and I think for anyone across Britain, you know, it's a great place to showcase it. And if you get the opportunities and get that little bit of luck that you need, that I got, yeah. then you can get the opportunity to perform in front of what you know, nearly yeah. 20 million yeah. people a week, and and have the biggest show in national telly. And so you wouldn't mind compromising, say, like you were saying that you'd like to be like Justin Timberlake. But if someone said to you, okay, I'd like to mould you like this and style you like this, in order for you to be successful, you'd have no problem doing that. No, I, w- I wouldn't have any problem. I mean, I have my own style, as you can see. I mean, I wouldn't want them to to give me a Jedwood. <laughs> A Jedward flick, or you know, and, and where you don't want to be similar. talking bad of Jedward in Dublin. Oh no, but you know, I mean, but you know, what I mean, I wouldn't want to be, I wouldn't want to be. I mean, Jedward have their thing. That's their yeah. look. I mean, it's like it's like them going to see Jedward and saying, right, we're yeah. going to cut your hair off. You know, you're going to have really short hair now. It kind of <laughs> takes away their image. My image is is who I am at the moment. Is is very. Do you I think that's real integral to out. what you represent into the music? Of course it is. I don't think you can change too much about yourself. You need to keep who you are. Okay. You know, and when I do my first album or single, you know, I mean, let's be fair, The Climb was a great song. Yeah. Um, the single that Joe released uh, as the winner. But if people people who know, people who've watched me on the show would say, do you know what, Lee, I don't think that was really a song for you. Yeah. You know, and, and looking at it, it's like, well, yeah, of course, you know, you'd rather see me doing something a bit more up-tempo. And speaking and so, of I mean, songs, though, would you like to write your own songs rather than constantly doing... Yeah. Of course, yeah. I'd love to write my own songs, but as I was just saying, like, I wouldn't want to do an album... If you know, if I released an album that was full of ballads, yeah. you, people, the fans who have watched you for the show be like, why has Ollie done this? This yeah. isn't him, you know? So I need to keep my own identity. I need to keep who I am. I need to write my own material. I need to keep the Ollie who I am as a person. Mm-hmm. And... Like I said, I wasn't talking down, Jeb. I was just saying in terms of like, you know, if they, you know, having a quiff, I, I couldn't do it anyway. I haven't got enough hair. But I mean, I can, you know, you got to keep your own image and who you are, and and that's who I am. So. Well, Jed would aren't a fair representation of Irish music, um, but are you familiar with any other Irish bands or is there any other Irish acts out there that you like? Oh, you yeah. too. Oh God, who doesn't like you too? <laughs> Huge. I mean, I'm, I'm, I was a massive Westlife fan when I was a young lad. I still am. I met them on the show. They were great. Boys owners, obviously, as well. Um, 
Oh, I'm just trying to think of now. I mean, they're the three that have, yeah. have popped into my head early. But I mean, you two, I mean, they're one of the biggest bands that's ever lived. They still are going strong huge. years later. Exactly, yeah. they're huge. I mean, God, they sell out everywhere. I mean, it'd have be... Have you seen them play live? I haven't had the opportunity. No, I'd love to. Okay. I would love to. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's brilliant. I think the script there from Ireland, aren't they, as yeah, well? The script, they're great yeah. as well, the script. I mean, you guys bring out some really top artists over here. <laughs> Jed was gonna, I'm sure Jed were going to add Jed to Jed are entertaining, and they're, they're I think, brilliant. fair play to them. They're brilliant. Now, there was lots of rumours um, of stuff that goes on in the X Factor house. Um, so how true are the rumours of you and Stacey hooking up? Not true, not no. true, not true. We, we, we said it on the show loads of times. We just get on really well. I mean, I'm not going to lie, we're, we're really good mates. Yeah. We get on really well. We are close. But there's no truth in the rumours that we're So you're together. a single man, you're available? I'm a single man, I'm available. And um, what's your ideal woman? What well, ideal woman? Um, I'm very much like a personality. I like mm -hmm. someone that's going to be fun, can have a laugh with. I'm not, you know, I don't want to have too much of a serious relationship to like start no off ladies. with. <laughs> yeah, no, I just want to have fun. I mean, you know, when you're young, I think when you're, when you're in this period where you're, I mean, I'm 25, I'm not, you know, I'm not young, young, but obviously I'm 25. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you know, I don't like all this, you know, to have a serious relationship and be, you know, oh my God. And you're just starting off in your career. Yeah, you know, yeah but I think you just want to have fun and enjoy, yeah. enjoy your youth while you're there because, cool. you know, you only get one opportunity to be young. So enjoy it as much as you can. And then... they are wise words. Indeed. Yeah, and then when you get to, when, when you get into, you know, when you get to a certain point in your life where you think, I want to settle down and have a family, then that's the time to be serious. And that's when you know you've got more responsibilities to have a house and a family and, and you need to support people. So, but at the moment when it's just me and a, and a girl, yeah. it's just have fun, enjoy life and live life to the full. Cool. Well, um, I'm so going to have to wrap it up, unfortunately. Oh, here, no. <laughs> okay, but, <laughs> but thank you so much. I have enjoyed talking to you and best no, of luck with thank all you. of your future your career. I'm sure it's going to and, do And uh, happy new year to everyone. Have a good one. <laughs> Cheers. Thank, thank you very you. much. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you too. Bye.